Hey everybody, welcome back to, I guess you could say, Mike's Garage. Um, today's install, or talking about the install, is the 05 to 12 MMD pre-painted hood vents. And I uh, just got finished these last night with uh, a buddy to give me a hand. And uh, this is the first I've seen on uh, the 10 to 12 hoods. I've, I can only find pictures of 05 to 09. Um, the only time I've seen them on a 12 is the, somebody actually cut the hood scoop and put two of them in the hood scoop. And that's all I've found. So nobody actually uh, that I've seen has cut the hood and dropped them in an 11 like mine. So uh, yeah, here they are. I was uh, a little bit skeptical of uh, how they would look, at, but I thought I'd get them here and uh, try them out. And once you start cutting, well, you, you can't go back. So here they are. I think, yeah, they turned out uh, they turned out better than I thought. And they, they look good in person too. It looks good quality. The only thing that they, they forgot to ship are the uh, honeycomb inserts that go in there, which I wasn't going to put in anyways. I want it to be as free-flowing as possible for uh, just to help escape the heat from when I have the uh, Pro Charger installed. So uh, as much heat extraction as I can get, uh, that's, that's pretty much what I want. So I'll, I'll show you. Uh, also, too, where they're inserted in this hood, the only section about here is one piece of, uh, of aluminum, and the rest has the, the hood bracing, like here and here. So you had to cut through multiple layers to, uh, to cut the holes. And let's see here, there's a mess, some beer drinking going on. So here's a piece cut out. And then here's the, the hood bracing. And there's, I'm sure there's other pieces elsewhere. Yeah, some more, there's the bracing. Uh, it is messy. I've had the hood taped up um, around, you make your measurements and stuff, and we had newspaper across the whole hood because, and I took it off the car, it went on the table over there behind that box. Uh, yeah, it, it does get pretty messy. Had the shop back running, it's behind there. While trying to suck up whatever little filings possible. Uh, so here anyways, <clears throat> The hood would not shut all the way with these, and I'm going to show you that because of the strut towers, but if you look here, and you also got to cut out the hood liner. If you see here, it's been cut out because of the, the bracing and the, uh, the shock bolt also hits here. But they drop down so far, there's there's plenty of uh, room to cut out. So, so too, I forgot about to put this one back on this side. And then again, um, there you go, you can see, I had to cut and modify pretty much the shape that I needed. So it would clear this side too. So... There they are. They're uh, they're functional, so that's a nice thing. And hopefully soon, right here, we're gonna have a nice P1X Pro Charger. And uh, I guess I gotta get rid of this because Pro Charger is gonna come with one that goes on this side. And then we'll remove the bottom grill, and we'll just keep it wide open for the intercooler. And so yeah, that's the install. And I, I'm actually happy with the way it looks. It uh, flows nicely. And I thought they were square before. It's hard to see in the camera, but look, they do angle. 
kind of goes on a point so it looks nice. And then with the uh, back MMD uh, winglets, everything tied together nicely. Uh, I don't know what else to do to the car. I'm, I'm scared if I keep putting things on it'll just screw it up. You know how some people just go too far and they just start adding shit to just add things. I actually used to have um, the louvers in the back window and I ended up pulling them off because they did not complement with the wheels. It just seemed like old school styling with new school wheels. If they were a dish bullet style, I think the louvers would have went nicely. So yeah, I bought some louvers for nothing. If to get them here and there they are, sitting here. Brand new. And uh, it's one of those decisions, pull it off the car. And then even, I haven't bothered to try selling them, but... Anyways, uh, I think she looks pretty damn clean. I, I don't think I should be really touching too much more stuff. I uh, just appreciate the build the way it is. So, um, again, yeah. All right, next video, hopefully some Pro Charger stuff, guys. Uh, I'm just waiting on it to come in. I'm excited. Injectors are almost here. I got the 65 pound. Uh, I can't even say the damn word, so we'll call them D Works. Um, and the cold plug, cold, one step colder plugs are in. A Pro Charger P1X uh, just needs to be delivered to the speed shop, and I'm going to pick it up. Get a custom tune uploaded to my, um, actually, a bass tune just to get the car running. It's gonna get loaded up to my tuner, get it over into Toronto Pickering, and uh, it's gonna be d custom dynoed by uh, Diego, custom tuning, or Diago, anyways. But, uh, then we'll, we'll see what she does. Um, have a good day. Oh yeah, I can't get my car out either right now because... Wow. I live three and a half hours north of Toronto. And we're still uh, looking like this. Still salt on the road. There's my daily driver. That's stock with 33s on it. And yes, she's a stick. Um, anyway, once this snow goes... And we're gonna get blasted again this weekend one more time and it's looking like the nice weather's coming after that so this is it folks um till next time st stay tuned <laughs>